Good morning, Coyotes. Today is Friday, August 18th. I'm Izzy. And I'm Shelby. And here's what we have going around campus today. Do you like math? Yes, I do. Well, did you know that there's a math club? That's right. Anyone interested in joining math club, there will be an informational meeting right after school on Monday, August 21st in room 229. If you have any questions about math club, please come see Miss Downer. If math isn't your thing, but acting and performing are, Izzy knows what's up with drama. Come on out to the drama boot camp this Saturday. Workshops open for all students interested in theater. Dr juggling, improv, lighting, sound, acting, and more. Contact Dr. K in the drama room for more information and to get a permission slip. Drama club members are free and all others are $3. And now we have some drama students to talk about pop, cop, Copper Apocalypse. Hello, I'm Vincent. Uh, you might know me from this past Wednesday sitting at that news desk. Uh, but uh, I'm here with some of the Copper Apocalypse members, and they are here to show you some of the things you may have missed yesterday. So let, let's see what's happening here. I need to let you guys take, take it away. Ready? Oh, just what's going on? Doing Czechoslovakia. Ready? All right, Czechoslovakia. And Czechoslovakia. Boom, shit, boom. You go slide, yeah, boom, ja boom. Let's get the rhythm of our hands. We got the rhythm of our hands. Let's get the rhythm of our feet. We got the rhythm of our feet. Let's get the rhythm of our hands. I don't, I don't, okay, now we're dancing. I like it. I like this part, I like this part a lot. Faster! What? Okay. Wow. That was intense. I'm, I'm sweating a little bit here, as you can see. Uh, so I have Corey right here. He's going to tell us a little bit about what else we can expect from Copper Apocalypse. You can expect plenty more fun times and lots of laughing and fun games next week. Um, Wednesday? Wednesday. Thursday. 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 August, 31st. August 31st, Thursday. It's going down. It's going down. Well, thank you so much, you guys. We're going to send it back to you. And for you fitness enthusiasts, have you been to the pack? Did you know that the pack is back? If you are looking for something fun and healthy to do during lunch, then go to the gym on Wednesdays and Fridays during the second second half of lunch for open gym, intramurals, basketball, volleyball, badminton, ping pong, and other fun sports and activities. And now let's turn it to Campo's favorite eye candy, Will, with the sports. Thanks. Hi, Coyotes. I'm Will with the sports. The big news today is football. They have their first game tonight versus Agua Fria. Come on out and cheer on your Coyote athletes. The first home game will be next Friday, and that is against Ironwood. Come out and watch them crush the opponent. And then get your groove on at the back to school dance. And a big shout out to Jordan Brandon for the video segment on the football team. Coaches, if you would like us to feature you on our sports report, then tweet us at CampoCVTV or come see us in room 302 or contact Miss Fredette or Jordan or any of us. Now, how did I do on the sports report? Tweet us at CampoCVTV. Let me know how I did. Uh, roast me if you must. And that's all for sports. And as I like to say, fair wins. Thanks, Will. It's time to bring back our drum roll, please. Teacher shout out of the week. This week's shout out goes to the entire counseling department. The entire counseling department deserves a big shout out for all of their hard work that they have done throughout the year, especially with all of the schedule requests and changes. A tweet us about requests at Campo CVTV and we will highlight them, your favorite teacher or staff member. Speaking, speaking of counseling, do you follow them on Twitter? Well, you should. That's right. Your counselors are finally with the times and have gotten a Twitter account. You should follow them at Campo Counseling to get updates on scholarships, college visits, teaching information, dual enrollment information, and much more. And now we're going to turn it over to Mr. Sawyer to give us a nice fun fact that maybe you didn't know. Hello, I'm Kayla, and I'm here with Mr. Sawyer to talk about the solar eclipse. Hi, I'm Mr. Sawyer. I'm a science teacher here at Campo Verde High School. Anyway, so on Monday, the 21st, there will be a total solar eclipse that is visible from Arizona. The last total solar eclipse that was visible from Arizona was in 1991. The eclipse will happen. It will start roughly 9.15 a.m. and last until about noon. The totality will happen at 10.30, however. Since we're so far south from the path of the eclipse, which takes place through Oregon, Idaho, and all the way through North Carolina, we'll only be able to see a partial solar eclipse. 
Please make sure that when you're looking at the solar eclipse to use appropriate protection. Um, you will need a pair of eclipse glasses or a special filter on a telescope. If you look directly at the sun, you will go blind. If you'd like to see more science segments, tweet CVTV. Also, follow me at, at Mr. Sawyer CVHS. Have a great weekend. Be sure to get your solar eclipse glasses this weekend. Don't miss out on this extra special phenomenon on Monday morning. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart.